Welcome back to the build video series. In the last video, I talked about why I chose the parts for the first build. Now we're talking about the parts I chose for the Banggood build. As far as the frame, I went with the Martian 2. Now this is a clone or a copy of the one of the authentic alien frames, which are one of the frames that Mr. Zill uses. Uh, just watch my very first video in this video series where I explain the difference between Banggood and all the other reputable websites. I do not condone or promote the use of cloned parts, but I mean I had to build something for you guys that don't live in the United States, so I went with this frame. Now I did spend weeks going through every single frame that Banggood has to offer, and I can find something wrong with every single one of them, including the Martian 2. Uh, I'm not going to go over what I don't like about all these, but I just felt like with the Martian 2, I would have a less less of a headache, and setting up will be a, a little bit better. Not only that, but I also took into consideration spare parts. Many of these frames do not offer spare parts, so if even just one arm breaks, you have to buy a whole new frame. Where with the Martian 2, they do offer spare arms, top plates, bottom plates, uh, standoffs, and everything else. As far as the flag controller, I'll be using the Betaflight F4. Uh, like I said in the last video, I picked two flag controllers that were complete opposites. This way, no matter what flag controller you choose to go with, you're going to be covered. If I could pick any flag controller in the world, though, it would be the DYS F4. At this moment in time of me recording this video, this is my most favorite, but like I said, next month there's going to be something better out there and I'll have a new favorite. That's just how fast this hobby grows. Um, but like I said, I, I'm not using that one because I wanted two boards that were completely opposites and the DYS is kind of on its own as far as the setup so me showing you how to set this one up would not benefit you if you are using a different flight controller. As far as the PDB, I know this frame comes with the PDB but it's a very simple and basic PDB no voltage regulators, no filters, no nothing so uh, I have not test fit this one yet I'm hoping it does work out but if it does that would be great because this has a 12 volt voltage regulator uh, which we can use to power the video transmitter that I'll be using, a 5 volt regulator to power the camera, a built-in LC filter which will filter the video feed, make it look a little bit nicer, and even the uh, ESC signal pads and this connector which we can use to clean up the build a little bit more. I do recommend soft mounting your motors and fly controllers. Uh, Banggood offers these soft mounts for the flag controller. They are a little bit harder than the one that comes from RayMateRC.com. These work great. These are uh, these are just okay. And I could not find any motor soft mounts on Banggood, so you may have to go to a separate website. I know eBay sells them as well, or you could even go to a friend with a 3D printer and just get him to 3D print you some. Uh, for the motors. The Racer Star 2205 by 2600 kV. Uh, just keep in mind that I am using the S version. The S version has the steel shaft, where the ones without the S have a aluminum shaft. Uh, the, the aluminum shaft motors cost like four dollars less, but I highly recommend spending the a uh, couple extra bucks to get the steel shaft because once an aluminum shaft bends, that motor is now trash. The ESCs are the Racer Star RS 30 amp V2s. Banggood also sells the V1 still, so make sure you get the V2s. It's got V2 written in the top left corner, and uh, we can use B shot, B shot. We can use D shot 600, and uh, you know get all those nice features. They're overall a pretty decent ESC. You need some way to protect your ESCs because heat shrink is not enough. That will protect it from uh, like. Not water, not mildew, but you know, whenever you cut through grass, your parts do get a light coat of moisture on them, and heat shrink protects against that, but nothing else. So if you want to keep your capacitors from breaking off, uh, Banggood offer, also offers a uh, you know four of these ESC protectors for two dollars and fifty cents, so it's totally worth it. Uh, if you don't want to use that, then you can use a 3D printer to, and 3D print your own, which is what I will be doing. Or you can even use foam mounting tape on the bottom side and top side, and then wrap that in electrical tape. Uh, that's one thing I've done in the past for a very long time, and it works well. The camera. Like I said in my last video, almost every single one of my builds use the original Runcam Swift. Not the Swift 2, not the Swift Mini, not the Swift Pico or whatever. Uh, 
the, so I do recommend the original run cam Swift. The only reason I'm using the mini is because I haven't tried it yet. So uh, I'll be giving it a try and giving you guys a review later on after this video series. The video transmitter. You can use any VTX you want. I went with this one that is adjustable from 25, 200, or 600 milliwatts. That way, uh, whenever I'm flying by myself, I just crank it up to 600 milliwatts. But if you want to fly with friends, depending on how many people you're flying with, you need 25 to 200 milliwatts. Uh, so with this video transmitter, instead of me having to buy two separate VTXs, I can just use this one and switch it between the three modes. Keep in mind that this does use a RP SMA connector. Uh, m most of the VTXs from Banggood use RP SMA, so uh, you will need either RP SMA antennas or remove the RP SMA connector and uh, put a SMA connector back on it, which is what I will actually be doing. And I'll show you guys how to do that. For the HD camera, on this build I'll be using the Runcam 3. It's an amazing camera for $100. I have yet to find another camera in that price range that performs nearly as well as this one does. And it actually does compete with the GoPro Sessions, which are two to three times more money. Uh, I'm not saying that this is better than the GoPro Sessions, I'm saying that for $100 it's well worth it. And then I also use the screen protectors on both my Runcam 3 and Session cameras, uh, totally worth it. And then I uh, also use these silicone covers. This is made for the GoPro Session, but it does also fit the Runcam 3. And then uh, you need to find some way of mounting your HD camera. Uh, for example, I found this on Banggood. This would work. Uh, you could even 3D print your own mount if you do have a 3D printer, which is what I'll be doing. Or you could even just take a piece of foam and cut it in the shape of a triangle. And then uh, that's actually what Mr. Steel does on his alien frame. I don't know if you've ever noticed that or not, but I mean, he's just using a piece of foam. And that's pretty much going to be it. You will need some ins and outs like uh, you know, 12 gauge or 14 gauge wire, 18 gauge wire, 28 or 30 gauge wire, uh, battery straps, Velcro, blue Loctite glue, you know, just random ins and outs. But we'll talk about that once we get into the build. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. And the next video, I will actually get started. So hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.